Are kidney transplants more likely to result in the myeloma coming back faster or more aggressively? It's a fascinating question because for many years, we never even thought that a myeloma patient could be eligible for a kidney transplant. But now we are seeing more of it. As we've controlled myeloma for longer periods of time, patients that have kidney damage can be eligible for a transplant. Does it mean though that they're at greater risk of relapse? There probably is a little bit of an increased risk because we know when someone gets a kidney transplant, they have to go on medications to suppress their immune system so that they don't reject the kidney. And we have seen in some contexts, although it's mostly lymphoma, what we call post-transplant lymphoproliferative disease, meaning after someone has had something like a kidney transplant, they're at slightly increased risk of certain malignancies. Myeloma can potentially be one of them. But thankfully, in most of our experience, we have been able to see the myeloma return the way it normally would return and often not return for long periods of time because we select kidney transplants for patients whose disease is under very good control.